Hey guys, today I wanted to present some data to you about how the economy is going. The economy is not going very well. Almost a third of Americans earning $150,000 more, more a year is saying they live paycheck to paycheck. And many are relying on credit cards. One of the greatest mysteries is like, who are these patrons paying Rudy Chan $10 to $100 a month to buy as more and more of them desperately tried to sell me um, in fact I am actually very regretful that I even bought some of them uh, I realized that these people are not that wealthy uh, they got into investing in sealed magic and meta zoo boxes I'm told I want confirmation on this that there was a set it was the second set called nightfall it was first edition, and he was selling boxes of that with his promo and playmat. His playmat being less than five dollars eBay sold for four hundred and ninety nine dollars. Now this exact same booster box can be bought on TCG Player for seventy seventy five dollars today with free shipping. Meaning the person is out, you know, probably assuming they're making fifty five, but they gotta calculate their own time. Probably it's a 90% um, loss, which is pretty bad. So again, uh, if, if you have purchased Nightfall 1st Edition for $499 a box, uh, let me know in the comments below if that was the actual number that you paid, which is pretty... I mean, it's, um, it's a lot of money, uh, and I'm not going to, you know, say that it's not a lot of money. The... Alpha investment 6.9. Like a lot of this stuff he couldn't get away with today. If he tried to sell the 6.9 box for $700 based on what's in the box. Uh, no way in hell. Uh, no way in hell. And again, I'll read you what uh, one of Alpha Investment's friends said. And this is a person who used to be close enough to have dinner with him. This kind of stuff makes me wonder who Rudy and Anthony's actual customers are. Do they only target like the top 1% of income earners? Even people making 150 k can't seem to figure it out with this Bidenomics crap. Who is Rudy selling his crap to? If someone making this much has a 33% chance to have let their life turn upside down if their next paycheck doesn't come in, what does that mean for Rudy patrons? Most of them make nowhere near that amount, uh, and he sold them $699 a box of BS. Wow, he probably financed it on credit card and cards, to be honest, so effectively paid even more than that. I just checked some stats. Only 25% of people make over $80,000. So, okay, so 25% of people make over $80,000. That means 75% of people do not make over $80,000. And only 10% make over 135. And even of that 10%, 33% of that 10% would still be living paycheck to paycheck. Essentially, what I'm saying is when there was a lot of stimulus checks and PPP loans, people were buying. There's a um, couple who was trying to launch their YouTube channel. They bought four boxes of Rudy 6.9. That is $2,800 that I guarantee you, plus, you know, $10 or $100, depending on what level. I probably, they're, they're probably, to buy four boxes of a highly desirable product, probably they had to be at the $100 level to get in line. So they paid $2,900 that month. I bet you that they're broke as shit. Uh, they're no longer posting on YouTube. The last post they made was like Dominaria Aftermath that <laughs> Rudy might have sold them. Who knows? But my point is, you got to be careful how you spend money when times are good. Because the best advice I could have given you, instead of buying MetaZoo for $499 a box, which now those boxes go for sub-70, 65 on eBay, all the, not all the time, there's not much liquidity in it. But I'm positive you talk to your store owner that got a few cases, they'd probably sell it to you $50 a box, no problem. Or you could just wait for Card Shop Live to have a sale, right? That's also an option, I guess. No, I think Card Shop Live, did they dump all their MetaZoo or something like that happened? I don't know. My point being is the best piece of advice that you could have got received was save your money. 
when things are going to the moon, save your money and then buy now. I'm having a really good time opening Pokemon packs from $2 a pack. Yeah, it's not the best, and, you know, honestly, the pull rates are so bad. They're supposedly better, but not for me. I'm having a good time opening Magic Packs at festival prices, and, and so on. I mean, these are good prices. Amazon boxes at $80, $70, $50. I, I got um Crimson Valve for $55 a box on Amazon maybe a year or two ago for the Amazon Prime. I, I've, I've never seen a box that low. I thought, I was like, it's like, this is like, are they going to send me like a ETB or like a, a fat pack? And nope, they send me a box. I was like, oh, huh. Midnight Hunt was low too. Midnight Hunt set pack boxes were like $60. I'm having a blast opening the product with the girlfriend. We're having fun, enjoying the games, just learning magic. Um, I don't see why, why Rudy's so mad all the time. I mean, this is the nature of the beast. I mean, it's the lowest price point. And he, he tries to say, oh, store, store. I mean, Rudy has done more destruction to stores via his model because Wizards of the Coast has copied his model now than anyone else, in my personal opinion, because he's shown that you can sell direct to consumer. You don't need a physical game store or offer gameplay. And in fact, most people are just going to buy on Amazon because it's cheaper. Most people buy it. It's the same reason why they bought from Rudy for all those years. I'm getting emails from his Patreons and they're trying to offload their boxes to me. And the one thing that I am getting like really, really, I can read you emails. Is One thing that's coming very clear was this was to them an investment. I don't know what Rudy has told them. But to them, they thought this was an investment that was very liquid and they could get out of it anytime they wanted. And they're always shocked that no one wants to buy their boxes. They thought this was a home run. They thought this was like the best investment they could have made. And now they're realizing the horrible truth is that Rudy sold this investment to thousands of people. So thousands of people are all at the same tr time trying to sell you 200 boxes of War of the Spark. Like some, they all have the same box. Let me tell you what boxes they have. Because I'm looking at them. They all have Modern Horizons. They all have like 10, 20, 40 Modern Horizon boxes. They all have um, 50, 60 War of the Spark boxes. They all have like 50, 60 Dominaria boxes. They all, okay, what else they have? They all have like 50, 60 Pharaohs, Throne of the Elder End Collectors Edition boxes. Everyone got the same things, man. They were sold the same palette. So, like, now they go out and sell, and who the hell wants a War of the Spark box? I mean, like, I already have, like, 50, 60 of them. Why do I need any more? Anyway, bye, guys.